for four different options. I don't know why I did that, because that's five. Four different options. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a fun video for y'all today on some new products from Flower Beauty. My friend Crystal, Crystal Lynn Makeup here on YouTube, she totally inspired these purchases. She posted a haul and some reviews, so she just totally sucked me in to want to try these products. So I have four different ones here. I bought these from Walmart. I believe that Flower Beauty is just exclusive to Walmart, so that's where I found mine in store. So I bought four different products and I'm just gonna run through them let you know my thoughts on them, show you some swatches, and just do a little review on these. So let's get to it. So we have several different options of eyeshadow palettes. So these are the Shimmer and Shade eyeshadow palettes, and I picked the one in Warm Natural ES1. So really pretty packaging on this. It's white with a little flower logo and little like floral designs on it. Really, really pretty. I like the like white, clean, crisp sort of a design to it. Really like the packaging. Um, I picked the one that was kind of like, I don't know, very like bridal looking with the kind of like um, light purples and rosy sort of shades. I've really been liking those colors recently, so that's why I picked this one. So it looks really beautiful. First off, I love the brush. It had a little um, sticker on it that said free $6 bonus brush included or something like that. And I mean, definitely, I would say this is a nice little bonus. It does have a really cool um, handle to it. It's like flat on one side, and it's a little kind of like crease brush. I've used this multiple times every time I've used this palette, and I really like this brush. It works well, it's soft, it blends well. This is a great brush, so love the brush. This palette was $14.98, so it was up there in price. So there is what it looks like. Um, it has, I believe, two mattes, one kind of satin, it's almost matte, but it's really not. So these two here, this one and this one are mattes. This one is the one that's kind of satiny. So overall, now when you look at these swatches, you're probably gonna be like, wow, because I feel like it looks really good in swatches. Um, and I have this on my eyes today. I feel like ultimately I do like the finished look um, both today when I use it and other times when I've tried it, but I don't know. I'm just not super duper blown away by this. I think because it's $14.98. I, I think if it were like $8, I'd be really excited about it. But I feel like for $15, I'm not super blown away. There are ones that I like just as much for around the $7 to $8 mark in the drugstore. So darker shades are really nice and pigmented. Lighter shades are pretty pigmented too. Just what I find is these are very soft and I feel like it can be really easy for them to kind of like blend together and not have a lot of contrast and differentiation. I was most excited about this color right here and it's just not crazy pigmented or intense. So I was kind of just disappointed by the lighter shades in there. I was really hoping that they would be like brighter and more like metallic and more just pops because I mean that's probably personal preference because I like those, those sort of like light really metallic shades um so I was kind of hoping that this one would have a little bit more intensity and even like that one and that one so but most disappointed by this one so it's not a bad palette at all um it is nice quality it does work together you just kind of have to be careful about it not getting a little bit muddy but for $15 I'm not super duper overjoyed with it. Now moving on to the stuff that I'm really enjoying, which are all the face products. So they had several different options of these Flower Pots powder blushes. It says soft satin finish, easy to blend, buildable color. So I got the shade Peach Primrose PB2. So this is what the outside packaging looks like on that. Really, really pretty. Nice attention to detail. So I think there were four different options. I don't know why I did that, because that's five four different options. <laughs> the other three looked like they were more like matte, maybe satin on one. I couldn't really tell, but mostly matte. But I picked the one that had a little bit of like a sheen to it. So again, what was this? Peach Primrose. First off, I mean, the packaging is so pretty on this. It's like a nice compact, very slim, very reminiscent of the Milani flower blushes, but I like this more. But this is more expensive. This is $8.98. So these are up there in pricing, especially for the drugstore. But I mean, 
beautiful attention to detail, really nice packaging. I love the flower design on it. So just so pretty to look at, but I also really love the blush. So I'm wearing this today so you can kind of see what it looks like on my cheeks. Um, this is very like NARS orgasm looking. So it has that kind of like bright pink with like a golden shift to it sort of a look. It's really, really beautiful. So you can build it up to be like this, or you can have it kind of more subtle. I could have it um, like I have it on my cheeks today. So, you know, it's very versatile. I just love it. I'm really, really enjoying this. It just blends nicely into the skin. It's worn well throughout the day. I haven't had any problems with blending or wear time. So I'm impressed with this. Like, price point might be up there a little bit, but I love the attention to detail with the packaging and I'm really liking the product. Then we have a trio here. This is the Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. So they had two different color options of this and I went with the shade Light to Medium. So this was, let's see, $12.98. So it was definitely up there in price, but I'm really, really liking it. So this is what the front looks like. Again, really pretty packaging. It does have a little um, diagram on the back that kind of like gives you some direction on how to use this product. So I really like that. It's like a nice little added detail when brands do that. So this has it on there. The eyeshadow palette has it on there with actually three different um, eyeshadow look options. So that's super nice. And then the next palette I'm about to show you has it as well. So nice little added detail there. So in this palette, you get a contour, a blush, and a highlighter. So you get a matte contour, well, at least in this one. Now I can't, I was trying to remember, I think the other one had a more golden highlight and a more peachy blush. So I assume that like they would be kind of the same as far as matte and shimmer, but I'm not totally sure. And I'm not totally 100% that it was a peachy blush, but I think it was. I think the highlighter was definitely more golden. Anyway, you can check that one out if you're interested in that one. But this one, I know for sure, has a matte contour, a matte blush, and a more kind of shimmery, sheeny sort of a highlight. Really, really pretty. I think this is so pretty to look at, and it's really pretty on the face. Like, it blends very well. It wears really well. Now, these are very soft, so they pick, they kick up a lot of product. They pick up a lot of product. They pick up and they kick up. A lot of product in the pan. It really does get messy. And I would say less is more on your face. Like kind of build it up slowly because I feel like you're gonna get powder everywhere. Like powder product everywhere on your face if you get too much of it. Cause it's just a very soft sort of a formula to it. But really nice and pigmented. I love that the contour is kind of more of like a mid-tone, not super warm, not super cool. Just a great contour shade. So I'm super impressed with this. I'm really liking it. Look at that highlight. That's why I'm just going back and forth with my hand because look at that highlight. That is so pretty. And lastly, my favorite product of all, this is the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. And this was $12.98 as well. So here is what the packaging looks like on this. Again, same design, same really crisp, clean, white look to it. Now this does come with a little brush, but it's not, super soft. I mean, I guess you could use it, but you'd have some like real chiseled highlight there because that is a chiseled brush. So I don't know about that brush, but it's in there. So this is what this one looks like. So you get a nice champagne highlight, a nice pinky highlight, and a nice uh, kind of like golden yellow highlight. So beautiful. These look very like pretty in the pan too. They look very kind of like swirly and like they were just I don't know, almost like a liquid that dried. I mean, I don't think that's what they were, but it almost has that look to them. So really pretty in the pan. And oh my gosh, these are amazing. Amazing. Oh my goodness. So love the champagne color. It's very nice and light. The pinky shade is like a nice kind of rosy sort of a pinky highlight. And then I love that the gold is more of like a yellowy gold. It's just kind of unique and fun. Oh my gosh, they are pigmented. They build amazingly. They wear really well. Super nice quality. Love, love, love these. Let me compare the highlight, the highlights in this to the highlight in this. On the bottom here is the highlight from the contouring palette, and then we have the highlighting palette up here. So it's pretty close to this one. I can't tell if it's exact, 
I mean, it looks really, really close. This one might be a little bit more metallic, but I might be able to, you know, build this up to get there. I think it's almost the exact same shade, so, you know. But I don't mind having both because I like having the contour and the blush in this one, and then I really like having, like, all three highlighters, so I don't mind having both, but just an FYI, they are pretty close there. So I am loving this trio. So if you get one thing, I would say this is absolutely the standout to me. I've been loving it. I can't put it down. I'm wearing it today. I think it's amazing. I think it go would go with a bunch of different blushes because you have all different highlighter options in here. It's so good. All right guys, so those are all the new goodies that I have to show you from Flower Beauty. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about the new products from Flower Beauty. If you check them out, what are some of your favorites? What are your thoughts on them? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.